As parents across Florida grow more concerned every morning when they send their kids off to school, some are turning to bulletproof backpacks. This should become mandatory. This should become common for all students. So we're going to see a little bit of deformation. On Tonight, only ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales is taking action for you, finding out if this in-demand safety device will really protect your children. Each of these backpacks comes with a resistance ballistic test certificate, but we didn't just take their word for it. We put these backpacks to the test. After Sandy Hook, people couldn't wrap their minds around a bulletproof backpack. And now people think that that's something that they need. A thin layer of Kevlar. It's sewn into the back of the backpack. Oops. But it's certified to withstand handgun rounds. Ideally, we think that the way that things are going, this should become mandatory. This should become common for all students. Just three days after this deadly school shooting in South Florida, Again, his company saw a 150% increase in the number of bags they shipped. But do they actually work? Ryan Hart is a certified firearm instructor. He also teaches active shooter survival courses. So this is going to be a Glock 19. He put a barrel filled with sand behind the backpack to simulate a body and took aim. But did it stop the five rounds? Uh, the rounds definitely penetrated the front of the bag here. But if we flip it over, there's no penetration past the armor itself. So this and would no save somebody's life. Absolutely. Yes, it would. Next up. So this is the AR-15. In the last decade, six of the 10 deadliest mass shootings in the U.S. have involved this style of gun, including the Parkland school shooting. Remember, this backpack is not certified for assault weapons. Went right through the soft armor, and we've got one, two, three, four, five shots. Ryan says it's what he expected. To stop this gun, you need steel military, plates like what you uh, see in military vests. But that would make an empty backpack feel like it's full of books. Would you still recommend parents use this? I would still recommend it, yes. So while it did not stop a direct shot from an assault rifle, um, it could still stop bullet fragments, uh, ricochets, shattered glass flying through the air. What do you think it says about our society that we're resorting to items like this? Uh, I mean, you know what? It's a sad reality, right? It is, it's become, it's become almost a new normal. And 50% of the proceeds of the sales of these backpacks will go to the victims' families of that Parkland shooting. In Brooksville, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News. The backpacks cost anywhere from $100 to $200. Guard Dog Security says it is researching their next potential backpack that would protect against assault-style weapons.